All right, now it's time for our big guest. This is the, uh, this is the culmination of this, this month's show. We'd like to welcome to the stage a couple of great gentlemen uh, that work tireless, tirelessly with the Mesa Sports Association. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here. So we've got, <laughs> the, these are a couple of hokums that we affectionately call the hoes. Um, please welcome the big ho, Mr. Ron Durante, and S is it Satchem John Dennett? Come on up, guys. That's great. This is Ron and John. Yes, sir. Uh, real quick, uh, one thing that Mr. Rhodes did not mention is he is actually a past big hoe of our organization as well. So hats well, off there to, you go. to Tom. He's, a re He's probably hiding. There he is. Hoes never really get old. They just retire. Exactly. What, uh, what is Satchem? I, uh, that, that threw me for a, uh, a loop there. <laughs> I figured it would. Uh, Satchem, we have uh, in the hoes, you have different titles. You have a wampum. You have a, a Satchem. <laughs> You have a cam, you have a big hoe, and a little hoe. Satchem is the executive secretary. All right, well, I don't feel that stupid now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, it's Satchem. So, uh, now, I, I noticed you've got the, the Hohokum's hat on. Right. And, John, you've got the Oakland A's hat on. The, the reason being is that, uh, you know, the hoes have, we, we operate uh, two ballparks. Sloan Park for the Cubs, and then Hoh Camp Park for the, for the A's. And uh, I run the operations, the Hoh Camp operations, at Hoho Camp Park for the A's. Oh, that's great. So, but we're, we're still under, you know, one umbrella. All the money goes into one, you know, one pot, and we work as a team. So tell the folks that uh, are not familiar with the term, uh, the hose, and what you guys, what, give us a little history and um, where you've come from and what you guys do. Um, so the Hoho Camps, obviously, we support spring training in Mesa, Arizona. Um, started in 1951 with the first uh, spring training in 1952. <laughs> Uh, the money that we raise goes back into the community. So East Valley Sports, um, Youth Sports, um, and also other organizations in the East Valley, uh, which is anywhere in the tunes. Last year, we gave over $325,000 away to East Valley organizations. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can only imagine what the demand is going to be this year with uh, the success that the Cubbies had. Uh, it's it's going to be crazy. It, you could never get in the ballpark to begin with. Right. What's, what's going to happen? What they... Well, I mean, you know, the, the Cubs are always a huge draw. When they went to Sloan, it became even a bigger draw. Every year they have record crowds. And this year, you know, there is a new piece of hardware that's going to be there with the championship trophy. So it is going to create some higher demand. But um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. They got 17 games this year. So it's going to be a lot of work for a lot of people. But it is going to bring a huge amount of energy into Mesa. And then you have the A's as well that have a lot of great things going on, and uh, it's, it's all going to trickle into a great time for Mesa, Arizona. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah, the Oakland, uh, with, now, are the, what's the latest? I've been out of the loop. Are the, are the Raiders leaving definitely? Raiders, yeah, they're, they're going to Vegas. So, uh, I didn't know if that had been formally <laughs> approved. So that's going to make the, the Oakland A's the only game in town. It's going to be even bigger for Hopefully. You know, they got a, they got a big fan base. You know, the, the Oakland, um, they're, they're becoming, at, at the Whole Camp Park, more, like, fan-friendly. They, they just signed a deal, a partnership with uh, the new Odyssey Aquarium, along with uh, Mesa Art Center, to have, like, uh, crafts and stuff like that for the kids. So <clears throat> that's, that's pretty cool. Then the, the other thing that uh, the Whole Camp, or the uh, Oakland is doing, is they, they bought, they sold a season pass for $50. And it's, it's the first thing that, that uh, um, in all of Major League Baseball, you, you download this app, and if you want to go to a game, you say, I want to go to a game, and it says, you know, Mr. Dennett, you're going to be sitting in behind first base today. Or if you want to go to another game, it's, it's like random seating, but you get to buy a season pass for $50. Well, how many games do the A's have this year? Um, we're up to 17? Yep, 17. Well, both both no, teams have 17. But that's including, we also have a World Baseball Classic. I think right. we have Italy, and then the, then the Cubs have Spain. Well, 
No, Japan. We have both okay. have Japan and Italy. So we there, there's two uh, World Classic games that are going on as well. Um, but the regular spring training is 15, and then they both added two uh, two additional games. So both teams have 17. All right. Well, I, I can't can't get past it. So for 50 bucks, you can go to 17 games. Yeah, yeah. but but right right now, I just got word from the Oakland that they had just sold out the 500 <laughs> 500 season passes. Wow. So just a heads up for next year, it's a deal and a half. For 50 dollars, you can get into any you know the whole season, and it could be last minute. And it's just on an, on an app for, from uh, athletics.com. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling us what we missed out on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if we held this on Thursday, this would be awesome. <laughs> we could, there's, well, that's cool. What, so what, you, you mentioned all the money that stays. For, give us some examples of where that money goes. Um, it goes to YMCA, it goes to Boys and Girls Club, it goes to Helen's Hope Chest. Um, we donate a lot of money throughout different organizations. We focus mainly on youth sports in the East Valley, but then we also go outside that. So it ranges from anywhere, but like I said, last year we gave over $325,000 away, which is, to us, it's huge. It's, it's That's great. very, very exciting. <laughs> so what's involved with a, with a hose? What do they do at the game? I know there's everything from parking. We do parking, we do park entry, we do gates, we do programs, um, we do ushering. Uh, pretty much a little bit of everything. Um, you know, back in the day, we pretty much ran the ballpark. Um, now with new, you know, spring training is a lot different than it was 25 years ago. Um, but we still pretty much run all of the different aspects of the spring training, which is exciting because, you know, you make so many friends with a lot of the fans. You see some of the same fans for the last 15 years coming in and out of the ballpark. And it's amazing of what you actually see and what is created in Mesa with that. So it's cool. And what's unique is that, uh, you know, we're in partnership with the Cubs and we're in partnership with the A's. So they rely on us for, you know, connections out into the community, connections to the chamber, connections to um, <clears throat> visit Mesa and so on. And, and they rely on us for a lot more than just, you know, the, the physical parking yeah, cars yeah. and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You're talking about the Cubs having new hardware this year. Um, I couldn't help but notice the hardware you're wearing. What's, <laughs> what is going on there? Is it some kind of voodoo thing? Or? Yeah, it's a voodoo doll. Um, yeah. No, actually, this is the big hoe. Um, hardware that you get to wear around your neck when you become the big hoe, when you're honored to become the big hoe. Is that a one-year uh, thing? or uh, It's one year with, a, hopefully, it's a second term. So you do basically two terms. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. <yeah. laughs> well, that's very cool. What, um, how would you describe the experience of a spring training game? I, do, do, are the players a little bit more approachable? Um, um, I, I mean, for the most part, I mean, again, it, well, I mean, I grew up in Mesa, so I grew up going to Fitch Park to go watch the practices and going to the first Ho Ho Camp Stadium and watching games. It's a lot different than it was, you know, back then. But the the players are still a lot more approachable. Um, they're a lot easier to talk to. It's a little more laid back, um, and the environment itself is just—it's a great at both ballparks. It's just a great environment to go and watch a game at and enjoy the weather. You know, in Arizona, you don't have to shovel the sunshine. That's one good thing about it. Exactly. Now, how many? Um, outside of those two teams, how many teams do we have in the, in the what do they call this, the Cactus, Cactus League? League? Total 15. 15. Yep. And, and the Citrus League has 15? 15, correct. Are we always trying to grab some more? Are we trying to get more people to come? I think there's always that opportunity to try to grab more. I don't know how MLB, you know, looks at that, if they really want to have that happen or not. But there's always, they're always trying to. Yes. That, that was a goal of Robert Britton. Right. You know, but <laughs> Major League Baseball says, don't you poach from the, from the uh, Grapefruit League. Yeah. It's like no poaching involved. But uh, yeah, it's, it's about 50-50. Well, that's great. Well, uh, I, I can't imagine how busy it's going to be this year. When's the first, uh, first games? 25th. Starts 25th at Cubs and 26th at the A's. Yeah. So uh, we got a total of, like I said, each team has 17. We got a couple overlaps. But between both ballparks, there's going to be 25 games uh, for spring training in Mesa, Arizona. So oh, that's great. crazy. You know what, we can open, we got a little bit of time. If anybody in the audience has got, hey, there's a question. Hang on, we'll get a mic over to you. Oh, okay, so you want me to leak the press already, huh? Um, so City of Mesa <laughs> and the Cubs are putting on a rally for the championship trophy. Uh, so it will be on the 24th. Uh, right now there's still a lot of uh, details to be worked out. Uh, basically gonna go from 10 o'clock in the morning to about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they're going to have the team's going to come out um, at one point as well uh, with coach and have some bands out there. So it's going to be a fun event. It's going to be a nice rally. They're expecting a big crowd, so it's going to be it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Uh huh. That's good. Any other questions? We got a microphone. We'll run to you. Um, 
in the meantime, what uh, if somebody either here or watching at home says, you know what, I want to, I want to cool a uh, uh, big hoe necklace. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do they get to be, how do you start out? How do you get to be a hoe? So to, to be part of the organization, you have to be nominated by a current member, um, and then you have to be voted in by the majority of the organization. So it's not just something you can sign up for. And it's a commitment. I mean, you have to commit to 75% of all the games and the activities. You know, we don't just have spring training. We also sponsor the city swim meet, track meet. Uh, we cook for the men's shelter. Um, so there's a lot of different aspects that you have to be involved in. In order to keep your voting rights, even as a life member, you still have to maintain 75%. Maintain so that's a commitment. But, you know, more importantly is that, you know, if you wanted to be, become a, a whole cam, is to, is to volunteer first. And uh, the volunteer positions at Sloan Park with the Cubs is pretty much full. But uh, if, you're, if you would consider um, volunteering at Ho Camp Park, feel free to give me, a, give me a call. But you would have to commit to a minimum of seven games. But I just want to make a note that uh, after two or three years of volunteering, Sally Harrison is now an official Ho. Ho. <laughs> <laughs> But what I, what I like to do is, you know, challenge, you know, Mark Quarters to come out and be a hoe for a day. I mean, I can, I can get you, a, like... pretty much a hoe every yeah, day. I can get I you... Uh, I think I can I get know. you a hat that fits and a, and a shirt and... Well, that would be fun. Yeah. Now, is there any chance I could maybe make a pinch hit appearance or... Absolutely. <laughs> come in out of the bullpen? Yeah, yeah. but, you know, but you do have to work. I mean, I mean, you can either work under salary supervision programs or we can send you to the pit. <laughs> well, I mean, it, what is it? Uh, barbecue? <laughs> no, <laughs> you could call it that. It's the uh, parking pit at Ho Ho Camp State. I mean, I think it's, I think the, the I think the audience should decide. Does it go to the, to the programs or does it go to the pit? <laughs> pit, pit? It's like you're going to the pit, Mark. You guys are mean. I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed to drive anyone's car. <laughs> exactly. uh, well, that's cool. Well, um, I know you're. Uh, you, how many volunteers do you have at every game? I mean, do they all wear? If you see a guy in a maroon shirt, is that a? Is that a volunteer out there? Uh, well, so membership's at 181 is where we're at today. Uh, volunteers at the A Stadium, you're going to have anywhere from uh, 15 to 25. At uh, Sloan, at Cubs, we're going to have probably anywhere from 30 to 40. Um, typically, if they're not part of the membership and they're a volunteer, they'll be in a maroon shirt, but they won't have the bolo tie. No, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So that kind of designates the membership. That's great. No, I know how much you guys have to give to be a part of the host. What do you think you get back in return? Um, pride. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great experience to be able to have an impact on the community that we live in and we do our business in. And to me, um, I think, you know, part of our uh, mission is to make sure that you're doing it, not because you're expect expecting something in return. And to me, I, when you see that you can make an impact in youth sports and the community that I was raised in and that I do my business in, to me, that's the most important thing. I agree. I mean, that's people ask me just, are you nuts? Are you absolutely? I mean, this it's or Ron and I work 11 months out of the year as a, as a business. One month, you know, to, we have uh, 25 of the days in March committed yeah. to spring training, and it's you know it's just something that that we do. And and uh, the pride is at the end of the year when we have a grant party, and we we have people that come up and say, this is what your organization did for me, and it's it's rewarding. That is great. Yep. Um, well, tell us, since, since you brought up uh, your real business, what, what do you do in the real world? I'm a mortgage banker. Uh, okay. Yep, so I've been and did, doing that for uh, 18 years. Uh, but, yeah, so the month of March makes it really hard to, to conduct business. There's a lot of long days that my wife and my family's put up with for a long, long time. That's awesome. And John? Um, I've owned a uh, company called CG Promo Group since 1984. So basically, I color and draw all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, where, uh, John, where are you from originally? Upper New York State. Okay, wow. Yep, the Lake George, Saratoga area. <laughs> New Yorker? What part, up here? Okay, good. <laughs> that, that, see, no matter where you go, you run into a fellow New Yorker. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And, and you mentioned you're from, are you born and raised in Mesa? Yes, born and raised in Mesa, Arizona. And uh, this is a tricky, uh, here's a tricky question. Where'd you go to high school? Mountain View. Yeah! <laughs> Look at the band. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> a lot of rivalries between Mesa High and Mountain View. Just some sad years. head shaking over there. <laughs> that, that's great. Well, does anybody else have any questions for these two gentlemen, either Ron or John? And um, if not, Sally, would you like, what would you like to, uh, I'm going to throw you uh, a curveball here. Yeah, give Sally the mic. <laughs> How did you decide to become as actively involved as you are, and what have you gotten out of the process so far? 
I got a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know Sally, that's really enough. <laughs> The, the HOHO cams, as I understand, were started by a group of chambermen yep. from years and years ago that decided they wanted to get involved in spring training. And so it's been kind of history that the chamber president has been involved as a HOHO. And um, fortunately, they took pity on me and didn't put me in the pit. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. But I do need volunteers because I'm actually in charge of the programs this year. So if anybody wants to volunteer seven games, I'll... Get you hooked up. <laughs> so we, if you volunteer, what's what's the commitment? Is it a couple hours before the game, a couple hours after, and just hand out programs? I mean, <laughs> no, it, you don't hand them out yourself. He makes it sound really oh, easy. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> a couple hours, hang out, watch baseball, hand out programs. No, well, you actively are trying to sell them, right? So, so it depends on what you what you sign up for or what job you do. If you're if you're a volunteer and you're you're signed up for seven games, you're still committed to seven games. But um, the program piece is a little bit less uh, time intensive. So, and instead of working till the end of the game, if you were an usher, you you get to get off your duty just a little bit earlier. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. So. so so far so far you've enjoyed the the ho experience. Yes, the ho ho cam experience has been very nice. <laughs> See how Listen, you guys are. 181 hoes. I don't know how many women are in the club, but it's a great it's a great group of guys and girls. And That's you know, they're they're committed to our community, which is the biggest part of why everybody does it. It's That's great. Yeah, it's a privilege to be part of the group. Well, that's great, and thanks to you guys. Anything else you'd like to add? We got an extra minute. Go for the. Uh, no. If you, you know, if, it's like a, a Miss USA question. You know, what would you like to solve? World peace and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a great spring training. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be exciting in Mesa. What's that? Actually, with the uh, ho-ho cams, it was a chamber. It was a couple farmers and uh, businessmen uh, started by Dwight Patterson. Ho-ho cams originated in 1951, um, and then he's the one that recruited the Cubs to come over and start in 1952 with their first spring training. That's where the Cactus League actually started, was through Mesa ho-ho cams bringing the spring training to Arizona to begin with. And now it's 15 teams, which equals about $800 million into the state of Arizona. Wow. So, and what are the Dodgers spring training? Do they go to Florida? No, Dodgers are. Uh, they're, they're in, uh, okay. they're in like, Goodyear. I think Peoria or Goodyear. Okay, because I, I think at one time they went all the way to Florida, and I was like, I think they tried haven't it, they seen a map? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, you know what? Thanks, guys. We, we can't thank you enough for taking time out of your, uh, you got to catch your breath now while you can, because yep. next month is going to be crazy for you, Absolutely. or at the end of this month. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by and um, taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, how about a big round of applause for Mr. Ron Durante and John Dennett? Thanks, John. Thanks, John.